And who am I, and who am I speaking to? Michael Yakira. And uh, what is it that you do? I'm the CEO and president of Sierra Pacific Resources, which is the parent company of Nevada Power and Sierra Pacific. Power. And if I may ask, what brings you to today's summit here in Las Vegas? Uh, our state is very fortunate to have a significant amount of renewable energy that we can develop for the benefit of our state. And our company is dedicated to that as a part of a three-part strategy to meet the energy needs of our state. The first part of that is energy conservation. We commit to invest money to help our customers lower their power bills and reduce emissions. Mm -hmm. The second is building renewable energy projects that will allow our customers to, again, use less fossil fuels. Well, the third is to assure reliability in the state because that's our responsibility as well. We have to build traditional power plants and we're committed to building the cleanest, most uh, state-of-the-art technology plants that can be built. And um, I understand you, in your speech earlier um, today, we are talking about the, the fact that your company has been a leader in, nationwide in green technology. And What is your hope with that? Uh, what direction do you plan to go with that? In terms well, of green technology. I mentioned this morning that I think it's important for us to utilize all of the renewable resource assets that our state is fortunate enough to have for the benefit of our customers here. And uh, that's really what, what this, I think what this conference is about, to assure that renewable energy comes to the fore and that we have more of it and can bring down the cost of it so it, it is more like a traditional form of uh, producing power. And um, with that being said, uh, is there a, dire a new direction? I guess one well, direction, but has the have your, has your company considered new options of uh, of energy production besides the uh, besides green uh, technology or coal um, that might be brought into the uh, northern Nevada area? Well, we've just recently completed a uh, a natural gas power plant that uh, produ produces uh, or allows us to produce all the energy that we need from northern Nevada. Uh, in northern Nevada itself rather than to having to import uh, energy into northern Nevada. So we're very proud that we've done that. We have invested in about two times the number of, of generating plants or amount of generation within our state than we had a year and a half, two years ago. We've doubled the amount of capacity that we have in the state to generate power for the benefit of our, of our customers here in Nevada. So those are other things that we can do and energy efficiency is part of the mix as well. And if I, I also understand that um, that your company has actually sponsored something at UNR, a uh, program of, of sorts. Correct. Uh, what is that exactly? We're sponsoring a, uh, a curriculum for a minor in renewable energy with a focus on geothermal energy for engineers at UNR. And we're looking at a similar program for UNLV down here. And uh, so I guess I've, I've spoken to a couple of people about this, that the fact that the green industry needs people to be uh, it needs to be green or well, <coughs> understanding green and uh, green that's what I'm looking for green engineering um, do you see that I mean your your, your company's involvement in trying to do, make that happen at UNR possibly could be replicated at other universities nationwide oh certainly and I, I understand from the uh, the president of uh, UNR uh, dr. Glick that other universities have contacted him with respect to the curriculum that's being developed so again I think I think Nevada has a chance to be in the forefront of education, of renewable energy development, of being a leader in energy efficiency, and we have that capability within our state. So um, my last question I have to ask, and this is kind of imparting to this, were a lot of students at UNR who aren't well versed in this, don't really, I mean, A, don't get this whole thing about energy you know, independence, uh, going green, and in fact actually dismiss this whole thing. What do you have to say to those, those students who just don't understand? Or don't I'd, get. I'd say that's a matter of, of understanding the technology. Very few people really understand how electricity is produced. I'll give you an example. Um, when I give speeches down here about uh, how energy, how electricity is produced here, most people think that most of our energy in Las Vegas comes from Hoover Dam. The fact of the matter is that about 1% of our power needs come from Hoover Dam. Wow. As much as 3%, but right now it's about 1% because of the fact that the lake levels are so low. So. I think as people get more consci conscious of what's happening with the environment, more talk about green energy, more, more talk about reduction of greenhouse gases and methods that we can provide to help our customers lower their power bills, I think there'll be more of a connection. All right. Well, again, thank you very much, Mr. Kerr. Have a great day.